Hi guys, I am Siddharth. Well, first of all, happy Flutter Day to all of you watching this video. Today, I am going to be talking about Navigation Rail. Navigation Rail is a new widget added to Flutter as a part of the latest release, Flutter 1.17. It is a widget specifically aimed at larger screen devices such as desktops and tablets, since the Flutter team is working very hard to bring Flutter to Mac OS, Windows and Linux. A good example of its implementation is the Google Photos website. This is how a navigation rail looks like. You can say it is a bottom navigation bar aligned vertically. It has tabs similar to how tabs in a bottom navigation bar looks like. Even in its implementation, it is similar to bottom navigation bar. They basically take in the same parameters. Selected index for navigation rail is same as the current index for bottom navigation bar to tell it on which index we currently are. It has an on destination selected function which takes in an integer which is basically same as the on tab for bottom navigation bar. It has a destinations parameter which takes in a list of navigation rail destinations similar to how we pass bottom navigation bar items to the items parameter over here. It has an additional parameter called label type which defines the label behavior. You can either choose to hide all the labels, show all the labels or only show the label of the currently active tab which is what I've done here. Now I'm going to show you how to use it in a practical scenario and guide you through its usage. Here I have built an app which has three tabs. We need to use it both horizontally and vertically. For example, if someone was using this on a tablet, they should only see the nav navigation rail instead of the bottom navigation bar. Let me show you the implementation for this. Here I have three tabs and as soon as I switch the tab, the content of the page changes. Now, what if I turn it into landscape mode? See, the bottom navigation bar has disappeared and is now replaced by this navigation rail. This is what the Flutter team wants. One code base and multiple device usage. Write your code once and execute it on different platforms. Even the code for this is very simple. I just set a breakpoint according to the device width and rendered either the bottom navigation bar or the navigation rail. I'll link the GitHub repo for this code in the description. If you like the video and want more such videos on Flutter, please like and comment on this video. Thanks a lot. Happy Flutter Day.